Yo, my people, what is up? So, today is a very freaking big day. Um, crank bolt is the last thing we're waiting on. It should be here within the next hour or so through USPS. I'm going to, I think I'm missing a bolt for my transfer case. So I'm gonna take one of them out, go get a couple of new ones at the store. I'm gonna do the same, find a bolt, a set of bolts to work with the uh, throw out bearing because I don't have hardware for that. So I'm going to go run and go, 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 go grab those um, and go borrow a cherry picker from a buddy of mine. Um, and then hopefully I have a few friends come over tonight to help me get this crank, crank bolt installed. 250 foot pounds of the APR crank bolt on the fluid amper. Um, after that, we can get up on the hoist, install the trans or the clutch and then trans and we can slide it into the engine bay. It's literally like six bolts, I think, for the motor and trans mounts. And then we got six axle, six axle, and three on the drive shaft. And then uh, all the wiring harness and radiator stuff, all that. I'm gonna try and get as much as I can done today, um, finish up tomorrow, and then hopefully start on Wednesday, or maybe start tomorrow. I don't wanna get too ahead of myself. I wanna take my time, do everything right. Um, but yeah, you guys are here along for the ride, so let's get to work. One single bolt that actually threads into where the throw-out bearing goes. I found one that's similar, so I'm going to take that with me and just get a couple different um, thread types or thread spacing types of bolts for that, and then we'll Loctite it. I pulled out uh, the bolt down here or up here, whichever one. There's only one in this back corner, and then one... I think one was in here and one missing from that corner, one missing, I don't know. So I'm gonna grab a whole set. I don't know if they're all supposed to be there or not or something else. It's supposed to attach there first or if this, I don't know. I have to look in the pictures of when I pulled my trans to see what exactly was there. I know right here at least is supposed to be threaded. Uh, I think I see threads way down there. Cause it's, there's like a bracket right here that goes to the block, so. Y'all, I'm about to be real upset. Um, so, I left to go get bolts at the hardware store, you know? And I see U USPS put a box by the door. I'm like, sweet, that's gotta be my crank bolt. Um, no, I'm not, I can't say I'm pissed pissed, cause this is from Shop Map. And I think this is the bracket I need for the transfer case to be held on the block, which is something I need it before I drove the car, and I do believe that's what it is. Boom. Two small bolts. See, one of the bolts I thought, I don't know. That goes, uh, I don't know. Either way, new bracket and hardware. So we'll go throw that on. I think the two small ones go into the block, and then this one goes into the case. I don't, I'm not gonna look, but that's all in there. And mind you guys, so I sent my trains old trains to shop that for a breakdown video and uh, I left the, the bracket on there the hardware I left my throw out bearing which I want a new one anyway so that's whatever but um, so I hit them up once I realized I was missing it and he was like no we done through the transway whatever and I was like okay can I get a part number so I can order it please and then he was like don't even worry about it we're gonna order you one and as soon as I get it we'll ship it right to you and I didn't even get an email I thought it was gonna take like a while this was like Friday last week, today's Monday, maybe it was Thursday. Either way, it's already here, so shout out to Paul again, shop back. Um, then I got, I don't know, can you guys see a yeah, my fluid right here? Um, one didn't get shipped with the rest for some reason, so my 10th one here gives me three and one third of a trans flush. And then this right here, shout out to the homie John, who I sold my seats to. Yeah, I probably told you guys about both these stories already, but um, I need the seatbelt clickers back, and he sent them back. So, boom. Nice. Um, cut this open real quick. Man, we really wrapped it up good. So, I mean, I guess now, since that freaking bolt is in here, I can install these, or no, I'm gonna have to go get hardware for these. I gotta figure out the thread pitch for these bad boys. I can put the seat belts in the car, I guess, if I wanted to. Um, or at least to the back clickers. 
And uh, I can get the thrall bearing in. I can. That's about all I can do today. That's kind of upsetting. I was planning on having a very good excuse to not go to the gym tonight, which would be getting that motor in the car. Okay. It's even got the sensors on it. Boom. And they're black. I didn't know if this car had black ones or if these ones were actually mine or because I gave him my seatbelts. I didn't. Oh, I think he actually included hardware. What? Where'd that go? If he did, that's like huge. I probably spent damn near, well, probably well over a hundred dollars so far in terms during this build, like having to go back and forth. Um, yeah, boom, awesome. Actually, I think these are mine. Yeah, because I, I labeled them. Um, so here you can see. Once you're looking for, made by Planted. Boom. Dog's gonna be all up in the camera. What's up? Apex boy, why are you looking at? Uh-uh. No, stay back from my lens. Sit. You wanna sit? No? You know you're on camera. Sit. Huh, shake? Can Jay-Z shake? Would you stop it? High five. Good boy. Good boy. I swear dogs know when they're on camera. Jay-Z knows. He starts acting different. As soon as I grab the camera, he starts acting different. Anyway. Let's go toss him in the car and we'll toss the seat on top and see what we figure out here. Just realized uh, Tommy included hardware yesterday. Hell yeah. Shout out to him. Um, still don't think... I have to use something different for the actual seat belt bolts. I don't know, unless these nuts will fit on those. We'll see. Um, for the back, I guess I'll have to find my own or something. I don't remember. Or those nuts go on a post that these two sit on. Yeah, or this one. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I got the eight bolts there. For this, I'm going to throw them in the car. Right now. Right now, right now. All right, set the seat bracket in the car, put two bolts in. Let's grab the kirky here. Get. Hi. No. Sorry. I had to grab my LED light because it's nice and dark in here. A little windy out and I got the hatch glass not there, so don't want to have the garage door open too much. Oh boy. Should have set the camera down for this. Huh. Kirky doesn't stay up by itself. Set this up. Boom. Sorry, right, I gotta hold the seat up, so. Focus one. There we go. That's how we look in. Alright, let's try and sit in this thing, see how the seat position feels. Oh boy. I might be getting a little old for this. I didn't have to hold the seat down. Oh boy. Oh my god, this is low. Oh man. Um, holy shit. Oh. I don't know how I feel about, uh, wow. I feel like I need to be up like another way bit. But then again, no, I had to have been way higher in the other seat. Dang, I'll have to make some brackets or something eventually to, uh, raise this up to a good spot. I mean, it's a good shifting position. Like, my arm is kind of like right in line. Do some shifting. Maybe I could get used to this being so dark. I feel like I'd have to be so close, so. Maybe I shouldn't be pressing the clutch pedal, but. Hmm. Wow, I haven't like sat in here in so long. Like, I'm so close. It even, I'm just glad it smells the same. I don't know what smelly stuff I use. I really don't use any scent things in here, but. Oh, oh I still have this seatbelt in here. Well, I gotta take these bad boys out. Actually, no. I, guess I thought I pulled that, that out already. I don't even have to run the harnesses yet. Of course, I want to, but. Okay. Well, it doesn't fit too bad with this. My legs kind of hurt because I'm. I guess because I'm like holding my weight. 
really wish it went up higher. Maybe I'll get like a slider to put in. That way I can actually like adjust it. This is just going to be like hard mounted. I was going to draw like multiple holes so I can like just move it real quick if I need to. But hmm. Interesting. Well, up there's some uh, quality time here in the car. Reminiscing on uh, Gap and other cars. <laughs> um, I think I figured out where I want my seat. There's like a lip on the bottom of the seat. And there's like an indent on the bracket. And the lip sits right over the bracket yeah so i'm just gonna pretty much center it right there mark some holes and uh go from there um yeah, hopefully i think i have some hardware out here i can just like throw a couple in just to make sure nothing i would like race in and i'll run to the store here in a bit and grab some like allen like low profile allen head for the because like there's gonna be bolts on the inside here because you know they're gonna go out to that bracket so i want like low profile stuff so they don't like dig into my hips or anything um i can definitely have these seats in today i believe because like with the harnesses i got one clicks into the clicker and the other one bolts down and there's two that go back behind me and one goes into a clicker and the other one you use a bolt and i'm thinking at least over here i need to read the instructions but i think it's going to use one of the seat bolts um for this side of the belt for the anchor and i don't know Maybe, I don't know if I should just take the actual seat belts out or not. Or maybe that's, maybe that anchor is probably where the other one goes. Now that I think about it, yeah, it goes back there. Duh. Um, yeah, so that seat belts, both these seat belts are definitely coming out. I could have these in today. If I quit talking and get to work, let's do it. Well, I should have left the tools on the seat so I could show you guys, but basically just uh, measured and made sure everything fit right. You had to have like the brackets all the way up on the seat um, so that the brackets would avoid the seat belt spot there. And I just marked them up. I did them on the other, other one already. Came out pretty good. I did have to file a couple of the holes, but whatever. Um, after I drill this one, I'm going to grab some hardware, see how they sit. Um, maybe even sink the holes into the seat bracket itself. Then I got to run in the store and get each side is nine. So I basically got to get like 50 <laughs> nuts and bolts to include what's going to go through the bottom. I think I'm going to put four on each side. So 16 plus 18, whatever that is per side, 34 per side. Oh. Yeah. Yo, so just realized some of you guys might think I'm pretty freaking dumb for I am covered in dog hair for doing kirkies and stuff and seatbelts, no cage or whatever. Listen, this is only like kind of temporary. Um, like I want like real nice wing back seats, like something I could race in and still like kind of be comfortable and kind of look good. Um, eventually, that's in time, like way down the line. Seats are probably fancy seats are probably like the last thing I'm ever gonna do. Um, these should be decently kind. I'm, like, I'm not, I'm not going to be daily driving the car anymore, obviously. Um, I want something, I, you know, I want, I'm trying to shave weight, like as much weight as possible, really, and still enjoy the car. Um, if that isn't clear already. And this is, this, like, I was given a seat. Shout out to Michael. He gave me a seat. So I was like, I'm just going to run with it and shave a bunch of weight. So that's that. Like I said, eventually it'll all be changed up, get the proper where's my dog at apex we don't oh anyway just ran to the store ran back to burns got a pack of 100 bolts nuts washers and lock washers just went over everything on this seat with the uh, file uh, file everything down real nice still need to do this side and drill two more holes on this one and i still gotta uh, drill both brackets for the floors um, once that's done I'm gonna put one seat bracket in so I can take a picture um, my buddy wants a picture see how low it is and then I'll stall the other one hey apex oh gotta go all right so I got one seat done thought it was a driver's seat it's a passenger seat I'm a dummy 
It's kind of ugly with the hardware. The cover needs to go on it still. I got to vacuum off. It's metal dust, but. There we are. Boom. I say kind of ugly. And there's like slots on the bottom, so I had to like space out the holes differently depending on where the, like the slots were and stuff, but. There we are. I'm gonna throw the cover on this one, throw this in the passenger side, get the bolts in. Um, still don't know what we're gonna do about the seatbelt yet. I need to get bolts for that, but boom. Yo guys, okay, it's a couple hours later. I just got the brackets bolted up to the other seat, which I thought I was working on the driver's seat, but I was working on the passenger seat the whole time. I really wanted the driver's seat in, but looks like I'm doing the whole thing. So I'm going to finish marking these up at the bottom. Uh, drill those on each of these. I need to pull the other one back out. Attach. I went and got hardware from a different store because my normal store was closed. Oh, that's not even the right bag. I don't even know where it's at. But I gotta attach the seatbelt to both, and then I can sink that seat in. Actually, no. I gotta get the seatbelts out of the car, the ones that are in there right now, before I put the seats in, and then I can put the seats in. So, hopefully, this goes by quick. Well guys, next day, again, um, got some progress last night. I haven't been recording much because it's kind of annoying getting all the measurements right and trying to hold the damn thing still while you drill. And the, this seat I went, I did it, and the thing moved while I was drilling it, and then I had to re-drill and reposition. It's been pretty annoying. But So we go to put them in last night, and the hardware that's included, which is like, well, I got it in the bag now. It's like a M10 or M12 head on it. Well, with these seat brackets, the back ones, you're not going to be able to get a socket in there at all. So, I just had to go to the store, spend 20 more bucks, and get um, some with hex heads. So, I'm about to throw those four in, and then the seats will be down for good. I got the bottom. Um, I'll just show you. I got that all in down there. Tucked in. I just cut the seat belts off, basically. <laughs> um, this one's pretty much in. You know, I'll show you the back. Boom. Be something like this. I don't know if these are supposed to. If this one's supposed to go over here and cross, or I don't know. But I might flip that. So that, oh no, you can't. Just the way it is. Well, there you go. That's how it looks. I'm going to take this hardware, throw these in real quick, um, throw that seatbelt stuff on, and we'll be golden. Oh, they're all in. I was in here messing around actually, but um, they look great. I put the little uh, end things on it that I bought. I bought two things that, that they come with four, and I didn't realize I thought it was four per seat, but it, the pack is for two sets of seats. So I got a bunch of extra of these thingies. Um, color combination is nice. I still got like, these shoulder pad things coming in, but I like the way this looks. So I don't know if I'll even use them. I mean, I paid for them. They're we're not exactly cheap, but. Hardware's all in. This isn't the prettiest because just crappy, but I, I'll probably actually redo it and get it welded and stuff later because the seat sits really freaking low and I don't want to sit that low. But for now, just to get the car driving and whatnot, like I don't really care. I think it's, she'll be good to go. But I put a link for these babies down below. Still a lot of things to get done, but we're a step closer. The bolt actually just came in too wherever I set it. Um, we're about to start the next video, so. And my battery's about to die, perfect. So. And that's all I got. If you guys want any information on this whole setup or whatever, just let me know. Um, if you guys liked the hatch video, it should have been out before this. There should be a link at the end of the video for that video. And the next video you guys are gonna see is uh, me installing the trans, or getting this crank pulley on, installing the trans, gonna get on the cherry picker over there. Um, getting it ready to put in. Make sure you hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip-flop.